I can't believe it. We're playing more ranked. I'm just trying to keep myself, <laughs> my head above water. Listen, I'm stoked that we got a stacked lobby because it should match people based on their elo. Ergo, I should never be up against the people that are really good, in my two cents, in my opinion. We place a 2-3. We place a moth. We, I don't think he's heard of second moth, Pippin. Hello. The thread is coming out. Oh, no. The stitch? Uh -huh. uh, my wife's face is not, is not bullish right now. Let's put it that way. Your stitch came out? Yeah. Oh, I, I think it's okay, but you need to make sure it doesn't start to bleed. What does it taste like? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think you know the answer to that, Chad. <laughs> Just keep an eye. It's probably fine as long as, uh, I mean, as long as you don't start bleeding, bleeding. Like, I get that it tastes like blood, but... <clears throat> what would be your Natasha Leone helps you with a crossword puzzle auction prize? It's a great question. Is there like a website or something where celebrities started doing... Oh, you know, I just pieced it together in my head, context dependent. It's probably is a way to fundraise for people that are affected by the, the strike, right? That makes perfect sense. You are absolutely correct. I saw that for that, Tom Waits is selling his fedora. Let's go! But his fedora, and I appreciate this in the most Waitsian sense. Um, he, they did not wa wash the fedora. So the, they have a picture of the inside of the fedora and right around like where his forehead would meet the hat is absolutely caked up with like old man forehead grease that's like turned into a carbonized resin and it has like dead skin and stuff on the inside. But I'm like, that's why you would buy it. You wouldn't buy it to be like, oh, it's, it's a replica of Tom Waits' uh, hat, but... It's funny, though. Someone in the comments was like, couldn't they at least have given it like an antibacterial wipe beforehand? That's true. It, does, it has a patina. We're so bad. I'm going to clone Tom Waits. That's like those TikToks, right? You'll never guess where I am. Wrong. You're at the Red Rocks National Park in Arizona. And the dude like flies out there and uses like a, a, a swab. And then is like, now that I've captured your DNA, I've immersed it into uh, this solution. And then I put it in the centrifuge. And look, that's your, that's your genotype. Then I simply put the genotype into my 3D printing cloning machine. And voila. <laughs> uh, they're, doing, they're doing some funny stuff on TikTok. They're doing some not so funny stuff too. But they are doing some, some funny stuff on TikTok, aren't they, folks? I'm not even sweating this. I'm very content to... I'll, I'll roll as the day is long, brother. I'll roll till the cows come home with the squad we got. Now, to keep the party going... We're so back. To keep the party going, we need garlic. And blob fishes. Thank you so much. That's a big get. Can't help but feel a parrot could be interesting, but we're on a we're on a different look right now. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Broccoli on the camel, kind of interesting, but I think we're we're sort of past that as a society right now. Dragonfly, which buffs the camel, perhaps not. Okay. Hey, now, is sea lion good or trash? I can't decide. Why well, is somebody who's lost 50 ELO points this week? Um, the only weekly we've played where a, uh, a sea lion exists. I may not be a reputable source. I am in the exact same boat as you. I can't decide whether the sea lion is, is good or detritus. I think if you get it on level up, you're usually pleased. 
That's what I would say. If you find it in the shop later, I would say you are oftentimes not so pleased. Come on. Come on. We take these. We take our level next time. That was a big save. Blob fish me. No blob fishes. Okay, okay, whatever, 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 man. Whatever. This is a big, like we have a, a, a pivot incoming. We have to get the pivot going too because skunks are going to be out soon. Which food looks the tastiest but is actually disgusting? I'm going to hit I don't think this is uh, the perfect answer, but I think it's a jumping off point for conversation. I think desserts look tasty almost all the time. But I don't really like eating them as much as I enjoy looking at them. In particular, like cakes. Like I'll look at a cake and be like, that cake looks delicious, but eating it brings me very little pleasure. I lost my pill. I, that was frozen for like two years. I'm going to buy you just to potentially finance a level up later. And let's be honest, I've been rolling a lot. So you should accept that. You should get out of here, though, so that the camel receives the buff guarantee. Oh! I always feel like the dessert that I like the most is oftentimes the second most appetizing looking dessert. Like, I'm not a gross dessert sort of guy. Bread pudding, custard, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I'm, I'm much more of like a... Um, wow, that's a, that's a strong team, brother. I'm much more of like... Um, like a little French cake or something like that, you know? Like a financier. Or like a little tart. Something that looks appetizing, but you wouldn't walk in and be like, Oh, I'm getting the chocolate lava cake. Is it all falling apart or is it all coming together? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not much of a sweets guy, no. But I have had more of a sweet tooth lately. I don't even want to tell you what I'm eating is so embarrassing. We bought that Neapolitan ice cream and I ate like two scoops a night until it was basically gone, even though we bought it for our daughter. After my wife heard that, we went to the grocery store and she was like, we need new ice cream because daddy ate it all. They bought rainbow sherbet. So guess whose 34-year-old ass has been eating a midnight snack of fucking rainbow sherbet like a nine-year-old kid every night? <laughs> it, it tastes good, don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, man, this is... You know, maybe it's good because it's the sort of thing you definitely... Would not buy for yourself, probably. Oh, we're hanging. Insanely important round. I'm just imagining a bowl of sherbet in your Peloton holster. First off, thank you for calling it a, a holster. Give me one of, give me one of, give me one of these. Secondly, I mean, it's not that much different than. The reality, I, I also can't believe I'm running this, by the way, but the reality is I get off the Peloton after like ride two of four and I go to the sink that's right over there and I cram three miniature Stroop waffles into my mouth as fast as I can because inevitably like I started my rides five minutes later than I was supposed to and we have a very delicate timeline in the morning. I shove three of those in my mouth and chew them while I fill up my water bottle and then get the BioSteel powder and put it on top and then fill the rest of it up so that it shakes and it actually mixes properly and then clip, clip cause I didn't even take my shoes off, clip clopping on the hardwood floor trying not to fall on my behind and break my coccyx, trying to clip back in before Sam Yo says 25 to 40 on the resistance, 80 to 100 on the cadence. You clip in? It's a peloton, brother. You think I'm riding with toe cages? Take your ass back to Soul Cycle. We're going to the Tour de France in this bitch. Kevin Hart laughing. I gotta go see Kevin Hart, man. Kev he's in Vancouver this weekend. There's a, there's a comedy festival.
I lived. I will not be going to that comedy festival, by the way. Do not look for me there. You know what? Save this for a second. I got an idea. Because we can use this to get a, a free level two of a unit that's actually good. No, no, not you. None of... Well, you know what? Level two skunk could change your, your life here. Sell me. Buy me. Niala, Niala, Niala. Oh! <laughs> The pivot financier. Niala. I don't really know what you're doing, to be honest. I don't want to fight the Lynx team, if possible. Understandable. Okay, okay. They've moved their links, but it didn't kill my death touch. We're chilling. We're not even in the top half yet. This is like the, the smoothest team I've ever had in my life. I can't believe we're not in the top half. Chocolate. I mean, banana pill is interesting. My two cents, maybe just a little too late. <laughs> me, when I don't want to play against Minnesota in the WNBA, don't give me the Lynx team. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. That Friday feeling is, am I crazy? Are these five A and W chicken tenders with a honey mustard sauce? <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Whoa! That's huge, man. That is huge. How many good boy points did you spend? I don't know. I cooked dinner last night. A little salmon with some orzo. Store made Greek salad. <laughs> Greek salad is that's that's a food I'll pay for convenience on. I'm not going to apologize for getting a store-bought Greek salad, okay? Do you know how much chopping is involved in creating a Greek salad? Why do I feel like Greek salad is tasty and Grecian salad is like some kind of horrific sex act? Like if someone ever asks if you want to eat their Grecian salad, then you're like, you got to call the police. <laughs> Don't go there, please. Don't go there, girlfriend. Talk to the hand because the face don't want to hear it anymore. Slay. Greek salad is unreal. I got offended. My daughter says her favorite vegetable is cucumber. So I thought, hey, you know, parents, you got to take your wins where you can get them, as you know. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this prepackaged Greek salad, and then I'm just going to give the cucumbers that are in it to my daughter. Might as well get a tier six. Why not? What did you have on your puppy bird of paradise? Clownfish puppy lynx. No, 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 no. Anyway, long story short, I gave her the cucumbers. She ate one and then spat it out and said, these cucumbers taste y yucky. Really? Oh, you don't know, like um, a little vinaigrette, a little uh, Greek seasoning, like some oregano, some lemon pepper or something like that? Come on, a little like microplane feta cheese on top of it? What is she talking about, man? 
Okay, the way that you play the game here is this. You can keep sucking the camel, who cares? Not necessary. None necessary left beef, for sure. I guess, I mean... No, it does, I mean, it could matter. I just, the order is all scuffed here. I'm just gonna have you keep sucking the camel, but I'm gonna buff you as well. Cause I, I just want the, I, I want to preserve the order as it is right now. Me, when I'm in charge of a structure of power, I wanna preserve the order. See, this is, I, I didn't wanna go up against you as a result of your death touchness. Level three Niala too. That's a spicy meatball, but it's not spicy enough, 2004 Honda Element. Okay. Now, it's been so long since we've had the opportunity to do this. I gotta go black screen for a minute here. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Their team has incredible financial driven scaling. I can see that. Don't say sucking on my camel like you wanted me calling me all the time. I'm making a very bold play. I mean, I'm changing nothing <laughs> in case you're watching. <laughs> They've altered their squad. This is ridiculous. How did they find a way to cheat when no cheating was possible? They must be in the room with me. Now that's a spicy meatball. Well, suffice it to say, I'm never buying one of those again. Now, they know that I'm going to do this, which means that I can't do that. Instead, I got to do this. Yeah. Oh, they'll never see that coming. <laughs> They have a Lynx on their team? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, they're taking their sweet time now. You leveled up, sold a pet, and then purchased an anglerfish? What do you... How did you know that? That's exactly right. The only thing that you m missed is that the anglerfish gave me the option to get a jellyfish or a level one silver fox. We take these, we break these, we take these, we break these. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to get me on that one, okay? Turns out order makes a big difference. a big difference, buddy. <laughs> it makes a big difference. Bring back the screen. I'm afraid I can't let you do that.
Oh, we're <laughs> we're getting up to some stuff. <laughs> We are getting up to some stuff. We'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. Whatever, send it. It'll be funny. Um, let's see Paul Allen's platypus. Bro, you killed my platypus? Oh, uh, this is really bad. Okay, that was a great leopard snipe. No one's going to know what I'm up to here. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> what am I going to do? Ghost Pepper, Ghost Pepper. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. It's, it's, there's only, there's only one way out. Yeah, 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 this will work. Hang on. I'm getting uh, destroyed for not dipping the tendies. If you're watching on YouTube, you're like, why is he eating? I'm sorry, it's Friday. Nobody gets any work done. Post Friday. You're all over live stream fails? What did I do this time? They've called the base department on me. Failed? No, that's a different, that's streamer fails or something. <laughs> it's because you threatened to cut off someone's penis. I didn't threaten to cut off someone's penis. Someone said it was punching down to respond to an insult from a chatter with an insult towards the chatter. I said, that's like throwing coins at a stripper and then being mad when she cuts your penis off with a pair of scissors. I didn't threaten anything. We're washed. <laughs> Sorry, you can't even see what's happening. You don't, need, you don't need to see. You don't need to see. They got me. You said you were the stripper? No, the stripper was his father. We're so back. And they were roommates. Good game, by the way. Good game. You, it, it was a big gamble for you to go in on a bird of paradise and a level three silver fox. Is not a common archetype, in my opinion, this week. So I'm giving you a lot of credit. For, for stepping out of the box and into the arena. Now that's an interesting way. We spent 12 gold on turn one. Be like an innocent ghost. Hey, Ryan C3483, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I'm a real streamer, playing one game. Thank you people for subscriptions. Eating chicken tenders into the camera. Straight into the microphone. Or as Dr. Dre said, some musicians cuss at home, but scared to use profanity when up on the microphone. Yeah, you want reality, but you ain't hear none. They'd rather exaggerate a little fiction. Some say no to drugs and take a stand. But after the show, they go, Look up for that beer beer. <clears throat>
So true. That's express yourself by NWA. Malv, don't make fun of my shelf. Surely you can understand, okay? I bought pots. It's hard for me to buy plants because every flower shop you go into, it's not like, you know how it is. Cats are allergic to everything. And they're not just like allergic in the sense like we would rather not, uh, you know, eat this plant. They're allergic in the sense that it's like if we eat this, we're going to get like really sick. So I'm being perhaps overly cautious. I, mean, I really can't feel like starfish is the way this week, but it's, it's a lot of fun to give it a try at least. Probably the earlier you can get it out, the better, even if it costs us around. Interesting. Not to mention, Mouth, doesn't this remind you of something? Doesn't this remind you of being in the Duat in Spelunky 2? Why are you being such a hater? It just you gotta choose the right ampule, bro. You gotta find the one that has uh Tenna Kitlin in it. Oh, thanks for buffing my blobfish, you piece of junk. This is uh, this is interesting. Is there any context to the cutting someone's penis off bit? The context is you wouldn't like it. <laughs> Probably. Maybe you would, you sick motherfucker. You never know these days. People are very strange these days. Level me. I was about to pill you. Not smart. Hi, Tomo. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Are you flowing? Free reroll. A sellable. Every time I think about saying the word sellable, I think I'm a lyrical, physical, lyrical, spiritual, physical. You know what I'm talking? I don't even know what it's from, but it's stuck in my head for some reason. I'm a buyable, sellable, buyable, sellable, sellable. Hi, Tomo. He smells the tendies. You can't eat them. Sorry, cats are allergic to everything. Gary Oldman in Leon the Professional, when you ask him what cats are allergic to. Don't buff this guy. Thank I appreciate that. I stop buffing this lad too, please. I mean, I'd like to... I'd like to... Buy the world a Coke, and I'd like to pill you in an effective way to get another starfish, but right now I'm, I'm freezing it because we need to find something worth leveling up. And in my personnel opinion, these units are not it. We need, we need something better next turn. Oh my God, it's, it's full sellable. I can't freeze the whole shop. I'm sorry. I'm just freezing you. Cancer, not allergic to chicken. Bro, there's one micro pixel of... Uh, of garlic powder in here. Tomo, please. <clears throat> I'm so back. Malv, have you played ranked mode, by the way? Once you finish Baldur's Gate and maybe you finally beat Spelunky, you should give ranked mode a chance, man. Like, it's a, it's a different world out here. It's a different beast. I can't pill you. I, can, I can't pill you until later, at least. I, I mean, this is an insane thing to be doing. Why would I play ranked when I already know I'm the best? Some people can't be reasoned with. This man's got a, a melon armor blobfish on the squad. With, I genuinely think, and I know what you're gonna say, 
It's observer bias, okay? Sure, maybe. Show me the, the tea table, Schopenhauer. I genuinely want to see the code. I'm not saying the code's wrong. I'm simply saying I want to see it. Why are you being so cagey about not showing me the code? I want to see the code because it seems like it happens. Anytime I get one peacock, I get 20 peacocks and I ain't complaining. But anytime I get one starfish, I n so rarely get a level two starfish. It never happens, man. The peacock is overrepresented in the code and the starfish is underrepresented. I'm going insano mode. I feel like I I have to to have a chance. Thank you so much. To have a chance of some version of survival. By the way, don't fucking tell me about the platypus. This guy's getting sold next. To have a chance at some version of success here, we need to take a build that is different than the norm. This is not good. But a, a big lynx is different than the norm. Lioness is going to be too slow. However, a cheetah that starts popping and is also a leopard, you never know. Could have gone taco, but it's, it's a spicy time. I think we're in hell, quite frankly. I think we're going to lose all the elo we gained on the last one. Isn't a leopard just like a slow cheetah anyway, though? No, they're buff as hell. Wait a minute. Though isn't the Isn't a cheetah buff as hell? Like it doesn't skip leg day. It's the fastest land mammal, isn't it? Source dude just trust me. I don't know what we're doing with you. I got to We'll figure it out. I'm not pilling. Oh, maybe I am. Maybe you know what? Maybe I am pilling you. Maybe I am pilling you. I, I it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. Better get prescriptions filled because there might not be tomorrow. Um, well, well, it's something. As always, goat bars. Thank you. That's from Shine Blockers by Big Boy. You probably think you can beat a cheetah in a fight. First off, I was the person saying, isn't a cheetah buff? Secondly, two words. First word, librarian fill in the blanks. Second word, <clears throat> I heard when I was Googling what animals could an uh, average man beat in a fight, that a cheetah, they're actually optimistic that an average man could beat a cheetah in a fight. They're not that they're not built for a one-on-one -on -one bout. They're built for chasing down prey that are like they don't have any means of defense. I think if a cheetah rolled up on me, he might get a couple good bites in, don't get me wrong, but has he ever taken one of these to the orbital bone? I don't think so. He's actually right about this one. If Fallen Flame says it's true, then you know it must be true. Oh, that was huge. That was a big one. They probably rinsed me on the Peloton. Well, I don't know. They, they're great sprinters. I don't know how they would do in a, in a more endurance-focused race. Like DL Guiga, sometimes he's popping out of the warm-up at 220 watts. And I'm like, I got to speed up. And then I'm like, just give it two. Just wait till we get to the 60 to 70 cadence. 
50 to 75 resistance out of the saddle, and then we'll see what happens to that output. You know, there's no need to panic yet. Don't blow out your legs. I'm, I'm, not, I'm half joking, but I'm doing it from a place of respect. Okay, I don't want to be considered a cyber bully. <clears throat> Could you beat up the average man, though? Well, like, I'm not trying to be coy. I feel like it might be, like, 50-50. Which is, I guess, a roundabout way of saying I think I might be the average man when it comes to fighting. If we're talking average, are we including babies? <laughs> I said, man, dude. <laughs> like, it's old people, sure. Like... Nonagenarians, yeah, absolutely. Babies, no. But they're kids. I would say versus a baby, I'm at least like a 90-10 favorite. I am insane. Did I... How did this team make it to the top three, bro? We got big loyal chinchilla. The whole squad hinges on big loyal chinchilla. Are you seeing this? You need to go back to the front now. Back to the meme James Headfield when he realizes he's not buffing his leopard. Back to the front. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Oh, man. Anyway. Hang on. You guys ever hear of Metallica? A little underground band called Metallica? Oh. You think you have a better chance against the average man or the median man? I don't know enough about stats to give you an answer. I would say I have the best chance against an ancient man. Like from the 1800s. Yeah, I'd love to see your face when you say there's a difference between median and average. And then when you look up a photo of average and median in the dictionary, it's just my picture. Uh, it's not the joke doesn't really make any sense. I don't know, whatever. It's the end of the stream. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Thanks for the donation. My videos changed your life. Fucking kills, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot beat this team. And I don't know anybody who can. Okay. I don't want to go up against Fuzzy Bottom again. I don't really want to go up against Catalini again either. Let's be honest, level one monkey is not gonna scale us out of our problems fast enough. We need something that can introduce a state change into the ecosystem. It's not gonna be a taco, it's not gonna be a melon. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a chocolate. And the best application is right here. We're probably still screwed. Lynx is doing, let me look at this. 10 damage, two times. I would rather have that off the jump and maybe we'll get lucky than just throwing out a random Niala. All right, it is what it is. Not the clone, brother, not the clone. It's a big dog. Okay, you got, we were close, you got me. Best of luck to everybody still in the lobby. Holy cow, it's 155, we went up 14 points on the street today! We're so back! Oh, 